Today I'm going to be installing the vanity mirror in the master bathroom behind the camera. And it's not going to be just a typical mirror. This one actually has the lights built into the mirror. So we're not going to be installing any sconce lights above it like we normally do. This one has a adjustable light already built in. You can adjust the brightness of the light as well as the color temperature of the light. This mirror also has a defog feature. You press a button and it'll keep the mirror from fogging up as you're taking a shower. So let's take a quick look at the one we purchased. We purchased this one on Amazon and unfortunately I don't remember the exact name of this mirror. We were in a bit of a time crunch so we went ahead and opened up the box to check make sure it wasn't damaged so we'd have time to order another one in case it was. I will leave a link in the description below so if you want to check this one out yourself it'll make it easy to find on Amazon. Since this mirror does include a light as well as the defog feature you will have to have power run to it. It comes with a 110 cord already attached so if you had a nearby outlet you could just plug it into that and hide the cord the best you could but we knew ahead of time we were going to use a mirror like this. This, so we had our electrician go ahead and wire us up an outlet for the mirror. We weren't sure if we we're going to have one mirror or two since we do have two separate sink bowls here on the vanity. So he went ahead and put us two outlets in, but we're only going to use one of those. And that won't be a big deal because they're wired together. So we're only going to use this one. I'm going to leave this one in the junction box, put a plate over it and cover it up. If you're thinking of purchasing one of these to replace the existing mirror that you already have and you have vanity lights already above your mirror, it'll be a very similar process to what we're doing here. The only difference is you might have to reroute your wires a little bit lower so that they're hidden by the mirror. If you're removing the existing mirror and light, you probably have the same situation behind the light. You're going to have a hot, a neutral, and a ground just like this that your light was wired to. But instead of wiring this mirror directly to the light, we're going to install an outlet instead. That way we can just plug the mirror right into it. Each one of these mirrors will probably be a little bit different, but if you get the one we purchased here, I noticed that it's a little bit shallow behind here as far as the depth it has for this to plug in. It's a pretty rigid cord and once it's in the wall there's it needs this much space behind there so that the mirror doesn't tilt up as it rests against it. So just to make sure that my mirror doesn't tilt out and there's plenty of room for this to plug in I'm going to be installing a recessed outlet and this is the particular one that I'm using. It's made by a company called Leviton and I'll try to leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out as well. If you're not comfortable working with electricity, this might be a portion of the project you want to hire an electrician to help you with. I'm not a licensed electrician, so I'm just going to give you some basic info on how to put one of these in. First thing you're going to do is make sure the power is shut off before you get started. I tested this one earlier and already knew that I could kill it at the switch right here, but if you're unsure, it's probably better to be safe than sorry and just go ahead and kill it at the main breaker panel of your home. I'm also going to move this mirror into the other room so I don't risk breaking it while I'm installing this outlet. If you've ever installed a basic outlet for these work exactly the same way. It's just they have the faceplate already built into it and the outlet is recessed back into that faceplate. If you've never done this at all before, on the back of these outlets there'll be some sets of screws. You'll have some brass screws, silver screws, and one green screw. Since we only have one run going to this box and it's not in a series, this is where it ends, we're only going to use one set of these screws. You want to connect the hot or black wire to your brass screw, your neutral wire or white wire to your silver screw, and this naked copper wire here, which is your ground, will be connected to the green. Now that we have all the electrical sorted, we just need to hang the mirror. And they make it pretty simple. Included with the mirror, they give you this mounting kit. And they give you a set of these three brackets. And these simply just mount against your wall. And this edge here that protrudes out will catch a lip on the back of the mirror. 
to hold it in place. How you position the mirror will be a little bit situational depending on how your bathroom is set up. My main goal here is to have it centered and high enough that it covers those outlets. So my method for this is usually to find the center of the vanity and using a level get a reference point of that center line off the vanity to my top line or the hanging line where the mirror will sit and I will usually draw a level line across there where the mirror will actually be hanging and place my brackets on that line. Line. You could use a laser level for this part, but with a project this small, it's probably quicker just to use a regular bubble level. Now with my center point mark, I don't want the top of the mirror to be above these two outlets, so I'm just gonna make sure that my level line for where the brackets will hang is above these two. The mirror also came with some the mirror also came with some screws and some drywall anchors, which I will have to use some drywall anchors, but I'm gonna see if there's any studs available. Just because this mirror is fairly heavy and if there's a chance to put it in a stud, I always feel like that's better. I know there's gonna be one available next to each one of these outlets. I'm gonna use my stud finders to see where the other ones fall in this range. On each one of these, I marked it so that my right hole will be on the stud and the left hole will need a drywall anchor. So I just need to drill out all of the left holes that I marked. It would normally probably be a good idea to have two people here to hang this, that way one person can plug it in and help you hold it, but I'm here by myself, so I'm gonna try to get this in place without breaking it. hold down on the power switch instead of just tapping it, it also works as a dimmer so you can even tone it down to almost using it like this, like a night light. Like I mentioned earlier, I'll leave a link to this mirror in the description below as well as any other products I use to hang it. I'll also leave a link to any of the tools I used in the process. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing below and hit that bell notification so you'll be alerted to all our videos when they come out. Thanks everyone for watching and see you again next time.